Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. Also, I have a course, Telepathically Connect with your specific person. You might want to check that out. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I wanted to discuss the Neville way to get your desire really, really fast. And that is by what Neville called bearing the old man. In other words, bearing your old self, bearing the old story, bearing your old version of reality. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I was reading a little bit of Neville the other day. I hadn't done that in a while. And that inspired me to actually make this video because Neville talks a lot about bearing the old man. And what does he mean by bearing the old man? Obviously, that's not literal. What he means is your old self, your old version of yourself, your ego self, your ego mind, which might be sabotaging or trying to sabotage your manifestation with opposing thoughts, um, opposing feelings, feeding you with all these kinds of lies that tell you that you're inadequate, that your desire is never going to come, that your manifestation is going to fail, etc. And also bearing the old version of reality, the old circumstances, anything that you might feel might be hindering your manifestation. And reading about this whole concept from Neville, the whole concept of bearing the old man, bearing the old reality, bearing the old version of yourself, and resurrecting yourself to your new version, to your new reality, to your desire, to who you actually desire to be, and what you actually desire to have and experience in your 3D, it actually hit me that embodying our desire, embodying our new state, is actually much, much easier than we make it out to be. Because all the overthinking we do, all the overanalyzing of the old circumstances, all the thinking about how things are going to come about, how is it going to be possible for me to get my desire, how is my desire going to come to me, what am I going to do about this circumstance or about that circumstance, or what am I going to do about that thing that popped up in my 3D, or that unpleasant experience, or this thing that came up, etc. All of these things and all of this similar kind of thinking, you guys, that all belongs to the old man. That all belongs to your old version of yourself. Because in that moment, in these moments where you're having these thoughts, in these moments where you're overanalyzing the 3D, where you're overanalyzing and overthinking your circumstances, and you're trying to figure out the how, and the how to overcome the circumstances, and the how to create that new reality of yours, all you're doing is you're still thinking from the point of view of the old man. You are still embodying primarily and dominantly the state of the old man. You're still being your old self, you're still being your old version, you're still living in your old story and in your old reality. You're not living in your desire. If you're living in your desire, if you're truly embodying the new man, if you're embodying your new state and your new reality, what you do with these kinds of thoughts, well, first of all, it's very likely you won't have them at all. But even if you do have them, even if, you, if they do pop up from time to time, you don't give them any credit, you don't give them any importance. You realize that they come from the old man, you realize that they come from the, your ego self, and you realize that you don't have to do anything about them. You don't have anything to resolve, you don't have anything to sort out, you don't have anything to figure out, you don't have anything, any circumstances to overcome, the circumstances will take care of themselves, as long as you're living in your desire, dominantly, if that is your dominant state. You don't have to think about anything. You don't have to analyze anything. You don't even have to try and make sense of the old story because this is what it is. It's the old story. It is the old man. It is a part of the old man. And what you're supposed to do as a conscious manifester who is embodying their state of the wish fulfilled is to bury the old man, to leave him behind, to leave him aside, to move on to who you want to be as the new man, to who you want to be as your new state, your new version of yourself, and your new reality. You need to embody who you want to be as that new person. And so all of these thoughts, all this overthinking and overanalyzing of the old story, of the circumstances, of the 3D, etc., etc., 
it still comes from the old man, you guys. So when you become aware that you're doing it, when you become aware that you're spiraling about the old circumstances and about the old story, you need to realize that you're acting from the old man, that you're dwelling in the state of the old man, and you need to shift your state to who you want to be as the new person. There is nothing, I'm going to repeat it, there is nothing to figure out, there is nothing to think about, there is nothing to sort out. All you need to do is be the new man. All you need to do is dwell in your new reality and dwell in your desire. Leave the old man behind, let him die, bury him, as Neville very dramatically perhaps said, and put that old man behind you for good. Every time thoughts from the old story, from the old circumstances, from your past, from your old memories, start to um, try and make it into your head and try to confuse you and tell you lies about your reality and your desire, you realize that they're coming from the old man and you don't have to engage with them. You don't have to do anything with them. You don't have to pay them any attention. You don't have to believe them. You don't have to identify with them. And most certainly, you don't have to do anything about them. You don't have to try and figure it out. You don't have to try and respond to what these thoughts are telling you. You don't have to analyze. You don't have to think about them. You don't have to try and find solutions to these questions because these questions belong with the old man. They don't belong with your new story. They don't belong with your new reality. They don't belong with the new you. So you guys, if you want your manifestation now, if you want your manifestation fast, if you want to embody the state of the new person who you want to be now without delays, you just leave that old man behind and you go in you dive in and you embody that new person. You embody your desire. You embody who you want to be in that new reality of yours. I'm going to say it one more time. You don't have to engage with any of these thoughts. You don't have to analyze anything, any of the circumstances. They do not matter. You are now a new man or a new woman. You are now a new person. You are now a new version of yourself. You now live in a new reality. You are now dwelling primarily and dominantly in your desire. Everything else is completely irrelevant. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.